Good day all you wonderful people, welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, trail name Lookout. And today we are entering into the desolation wilderness. Oh my goodness, it sounds ominous. The group has now officially broken up, split up, gone their separate ways. Stitches along with Pisa and Lotto have gone ahead, they are a day ahead of us. Jackpot and Bushwhack have gone for a well-earned vacation and they've gone rock climbing in Yosemite which all sounds very exciting I'm very jealous whereas Worth It and I took an extra day off to uh, rest our bones rest my foot and uh, then we are out today it is about 1 30 p.m. we got a lift up to trail from a, an amazing guy called Matt who works for the PCTA who get, kindly gave us a lift went out of his way this afternoon and uh, I'm very 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 indebted to him for getting us back to trail. I really, really appreciate his work. So Matt, if you're watching, thank you so much. One thing Matt asked in return was he asked me to take photos of every down tree. So yeah, watch out for that. I'm gonna be uh, sending everything your way, Matt. You're gonna get a lot of photos. It's hot. It's really, really hot, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sun's out, I haven't felt a heat like this in well over a month. So better get on with it get myself sweaty and uh, find the desolation. Start of the day walking through a burn zone. Just absolutely ruined. Every tree in the area has gone. Just blackened and charred. And meanwhile, there's no undergrowth here whatsoever, just the bare rocks. And you can imagine there's place would have been covered in green plants before and uh, it's all gone hopefully it can recover soon and this ladies and gentlemen is what the burn zone would have looked like before the fire swept through it just the other side of the road there's so much greenery around here. Just look at all these trees completely covered in moss and lichen all the way up their trunks to the top, making them all look lime green. It's incredible. This lake is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of lakes up in Banff that I've been to. It's just stunning. If you're looking for desolation, it's three miles to the left. What a wonderful part of the trail this is. I'm blown away by the view. Was not expecting it. It's a incredible walk around here. And the colors are stunning. You can hear a lot of bird song. There are insects like butterflies, dragonflies, all flitting around. And little bees getting pollen out of the plants. It's just wonderful. I feel like when I'm out in nature like this, and I really appreciate all the colours and see all of the creatures. It just recharges my happiness, especially when you compare it to the blanket white of the Sierras of the Sierra for the last five weeks. 
I'm not saying that I don't appreciate the Sierra. I'm just saying when you contrast it, just a wonderful way to start hiking again after having a couple of days off. Look at those beautiful flowers. Will do. Thank you so much. You. Take care. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I just bumped into two backpackers who I got a really uh, good conversation with. Absolutely lovely people and it was fantastic to meet them. Ginger and Jim, you just saw them walking off there. What a beautiful day. Not just nature, but also people coming along and brightening up the afternoon. It's uh, it really is a blessing this day. It's incredible. Very, very, very appreciative of everything that I've received today. Desolation in half a mile. Lake Aloha, three miles. Can't wait. The trail has become a river. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone up in altitude and the conditions have changed. We are back on snow. It's like being back in the Sierras, up and down tree wells. It ain't over yet. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. What a view. We've just come down through the forest, descending down the hill, and it's opened up in front of us. Now that usually is completely open blue water and uh, it's just mostly frozen over at this point. But it's still a stunning view, those mountains curtaining the background. And crazy. Ladies and gents, the Desolation Wilderness is known for its problem bears that uh, like to get into your food. So what we are doing to uh, minimise the chance that we're going to have a bear encounter is we're stopping about a mile and a half before we get to camp. We're going to cook here and that means when we get to camp there's no smells going around where we're sleeping. We're just going to put the tents up and go to sleep for tonight. So time to get my Gordon Ramsay on and start cooking. So we finished lunch, dinner, should I say. Worth it stand here. Yeah. And I think the edge of this lake is where we're going. I'm not sure if we've got to go over that and then drop down the other side. But I think that's that lake, 1.7 miles from here, is the way we are heading. Wow. Do you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that, what a reflection. Such a beautiful image in front of me. Just turned the corner, got to this very dark part of the valley. The sun shining off the mountain, but the whole of the foreground is in shadow, which makes an excellent reflection. It's beautiful. That moon is just rising up above the mountain now. And it's so large. Uh, I love when the moon is, it's like moonrise. The moon always looks huge and then once it gets into much higher in the sky it just looks so tiny. At this time of day it looks the size of a coin. It's great. So ladies and gentlemen, it is getting late, the sun is going down, the sky is pink and purple, it's time to go to bed. So that's all I've got for you today. So thank you for joining me, and worth it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.